Hello class, this is Mrs. Alston talking about the lumbar spine anatomy. Remember the two main components of the spine is going to be the body and the arch. That is true for the cervical, the thoracic, and finally the lumbar vertebra here. You have the body which is the anterior portion and the arch which is the posterior portion. Coming off laterally on both sides is the transverse process which is right here. Your pedicles are going to be the attachment of the arch with the body. The opening between the body and the uh, arch is going to be the vertebral foramen. And then you're going to have the spinous process, which is going to be the most posterior aspect. Now the ear right here, the thing that looks like the ear is going to be the superior articular process. Okay. And then um, down below that looks like the leg right there, right next to the spinous process is the inferior articular process. So this area right here is the inferior articular process. The part that goes between the transverse process and the spinous process is known as the lamina, which is right here. So it's the same as it is for all the rest of the vertebra that we've talked about. Um, the only thing that's mainly different with the lumbar spine is they are a lot larger and the spinous process is shorter and more blunt. You don't have that transverse foramen like you did with the cervical or the bifid tips and you do not have the demi facets and facets um, and the articulating facet for the um, costo uh, or the ribs. So that is your lumbar.